Oh, what's going on, everyone? Z here. Welcome back to some more car manufacturer. We're back doing things, doing stuff, having a wonderful time. I'm having, I'm really enjoying this, and I'm really excited because today we're gonna really get into the factory. Now, um, some people commented in the last video that uh, I did pick like the smallest map, I guess, but it is what it is, and uh, we'll have fun with it either way. So, um, yeah, last episode we got some cars started. We're building the three-wheeled buggies. Uh, and we need to start building some new stuff. We need to start making some more money. So uh, that's going to be the plan. Hopefully you're all having a fantastic day, like I said before. And let's see. Okay, so we've already got orders coming in. Orders going. That's wonderful. And we've already got, we've got a car almost, almost learned. Um, we have 10 of 10 people already. And let's go ahead and see our research here. So we've got, okay, so that's that. Um, how much is it to expand our people? It's a hundred bucks. Let's go ahead and do that. That will allow us to maybe get, um, let's see. I feel like we're going to need, okay, hold on. We got to be careful here. We only have, we only have so many people. Um, let's see employed. Let's go to for hire. We're going to dismiss some of these low levels because we don't, um, uh, do we need another salesman? Let's get one more salesman. And then we do need, I think we need some more researchers here in order to keep things kind of like rolling along. And then we need, let's see, uh, level three. What about mechanics? Okay, and there's a level three, there's a level three. All right, we're at 16 and 20. Let's see how that goes first. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so now, because we need to make money, we gotta be making money in order to, uh, to keep everybody employed here. So let's get into building and we want oh let's see research where was the research at was it right here <gasps> research desk perfect okay so let's put this guy right there and then how many researchers did we have we only had oh we have three. Oh, perfect okay so we have three researchers so let's get another research desk that should help Okay, let's see, useful for drawing. Um, does it, do we get a pick what they're, oh, we gotta go back, back to production. Okay, production. Um, oh, they all help each other, perfect. So 300 per week, it looks like. Oh, this car should be done in no time. So basically, we're gonna go from car to car to car <laughs> and get as many made as possible. Oh, look at that. That guy's ready to go. He's ready to, there's, there's, nobody, to, there's nobody to take him. There's no way, you know what? Do we need more transporters? Hmm. What are, who are you? Who is the person on here? Are you, are you guys transporters or are you mechanics? You're not mechanics, mechanics over there. I wanna see who this guy is. Frank Cooper and Michael Barnes. Are those, uh, let's see, employed. Frank Cooper and Michael. Okay, so those are indeed transporters. So let's actually get some more. Let's get another transporter here um, and another transporter there. Okay, and we'll leave the other two. So I think having I think having appropriate amount of transporters, you know, getting things moved from point A to point B is going to be key in us actually um, keeping up with stuff. And then let's see, we need another sales desk. So let's see, sales, sales desk. Let's see, we'll have one right here. Perfect, okay. All right, so we're good, we're good. Oh my gosh, look at that, we have three buggies ready to go. Heck yes. Now, can we look at, let's go back into production, let's click on this. All right, let's see, let's, popularity is 32. So we're right here. So popularity is rising. It is, it is more popular. Advertisements is plus 5%. Oh yeah, we're doing advertisements. Uh, you know what though? It's, it's, wor it's working. It's working for now. It's working for now. Okay. So we'll just leave that. So cost of parts is 162. Income is 145. Perfect. That's looking good. So once this starts going down, maybe we'll start, uh, actually. We don't need to produce another car until that starts going down, right? We don't we don't give the the people what they want before they want it. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Absolutely. Okay. Let's look at our technology tree here. So assembly lines, sales allows you to build more sales slots. Security. Oh, there's security, basic decorations, employee zone. 
to rest and increase their abilities. That's probably really handy. How much is that? 500. That's not terrible. How much is this? Assembly line one. That's only 100. Um, max stations and conveyor two. Let's buy that. I feel like for 100 bucks, I feel like it's worth it. And we'll go ahead and do that as uh, sales one. And then that really opens up the window to more things, doesn't it? So we could actually probably redo this. We could probably throw another one right here and have it um, in conveyor in line with that. Oh my gosh, we're selling them like hotcakes. Uh, popularity is still on the rise. So I'm guessing this means that it's rising. So it's still popular. It's still keep it up. We're doing good things. This guy's 81% done. And that's our next car. And then I guess we could have another car being researched. But I don't feel like we really need to. Oh, you know what? I wonder how much money this next car is going to make us. All right. Our, car, our car's almost done. Our car's almost done. 96% complete. Uh, we're at 1932 out of 2000 on the researches stuff. So as soon as this one's built, uh, do we switch or do we just start researching the next thing and then like bring this one in once like this one starts pop dying in popularity or do we just set up another thing? Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. Um, this is the, this is the quadra buggy. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love it. Okay. So we've got that now. What do I do? Do I just change one of these, one of these productions to be making? Actually, should we just swap? Yes. And this guy, select that. Yes. Let's go ahead and delete two of these orders and create two of these orders. So we're going to make one buggy and then we'll make two of the other ones. Because I feel like it's probably still... I mean, the buggy is still popular, you know? It's still doing its thing. And then we need another display. So, um, sales display. Maximum number in the zone. What? Oh, okay. Hold on a second. I have an idea. All right. So, what if we do this? Um, let's move this over here. Let's move this over here. I have an idea. What if we adjust the size of the zone... Uh, are we able to click and drag on zone edge to resize? Okay, so like, let's say let's let's say let's bring this over here for now, and then we grab this. So like that one area right there, that's one sales thing. And then what we do is we grab another one, like that. Grab this. Throw that there, grab this, move this over here, center this one there. <laughs> I like it. Okay, and then we can go ahead and get back into production. We can select a car model, change, select. There it is. Uh, it's not released. We need to go with monies. We need a, the 90% because that's what it said. And then do we, do we activate a door to door? Let's activate a door to door. Why not? Uh, do we have any? We don't have any yet. So let's not release that yet. And then let's see, do we need another parking lot? No, I don't think so because we've been, we've been producing three cars. Um, our, our lines are still the same, so we should be okay. And then let's go ahead and select a new one. Do we do, uh, should we do an unknown? Let's do an unknown one. It'll be a surprise. We won't, we'll have no idea what we're getting. Yeah. Look at that. See, there's that. And then actually, you know what? I'm actually kind of curious. Can we just go ahead and boop, bring that in by one? Yeah, that looks good. And then move this over by one. Oh, perfect. See that right there. That's a showroom. You got one car, one salesman, one car, one salesman. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Are you here to buy the bug three or the quadra buggy? And then what is this? Um, increases the chance of a successful sale. Oh, I need those. We definitely need those. <laughs> we are all about them sales. Okay, so I'm a little worried um, that we're not making enough <laughs> enough money here. Uh, did we not do the? We have the orders. That order there, that order there. 
Ooh, it's a lot more expensive to have those other two cars being made. Holy moly. That's probably where our money went. Okay. This guy's at 43. I think we're waiting for resources for the other car yet. Oh, I didn't hit. Oh my gosh. I didn't hit play. I forgot that last time too. Oh, we got a new car already. New blueprint discovered. Engine capacity, 12.8. Number of cylinders, engine power. Oh, what is this guy? Let's get some, uh, the Aviator TC, the Delta. Huh. Let's go with the Delta. Sport Roadster. Okay. That's exciting. And then change. Uh, do we just do another unknown? Let's just do another unknown. I like the unknowns. Those are actually kind of fun. Um, okay. So let's see here. Now what do we do? Um... So we have our main stuff here. We have the buggy being made here. The buggy is still a, a rising popularity. So like, there's no reason to not have that guy going. I was one. It's too bad. You know what? We could expand out. You know what? Let's do this. Let's extend out here and then we'll um, have another set of stuff coming up right here, I guess. Ooh. Oh, we only have $907. Oh my gosh. We're losing money bad. Um, these cars need to get going. You know, it's crazy because we're making we're making a good profit off that, but we must not be making enough off of these one cars alone to to get everybody uh, paid for here. Um, uh oh, uh oh, we lost uh, we lost this. Okay, so let's deactivate the ad. Sales are going down. That's fine. We we kind of we kind of got ready for this. Um, I need these guys getting built. These cars take a lot longer to build than this one did, for sure. Oh, we're back at, we're at 11.18. Okay, maybe I should see if I, maybe I should see if I can make some money here before you do anything else. Oh, we got some wheels coming on. I sped things up a little bit. It's taking a little bit of time, uh, but we got wheels going on these guys, which means, do I have to designate parking for this? No, I don't think so. All right, which means we should go ahead and uh, release that bad boy. And these should be about done. Oh, there it is. The first one is done. The second one is done. There it is. We've got two of them. Oh, aren't they beautiful? They are so beautiful. Now we just need to sell them. We just need to sell. Wow, 1,064. And they're gone. <laughs> um, holy moly. You know what? It might not be worth selling the Bug 3 anymore. I wonder if we're running out of mechanics or if we're running out of what? Like, are the mechanics doing their thing? Like... I don't know. I'm curious to as to where our slowdown is here. Um, I know we need to like ramp pop, ramp things up. Maybe I should put these in a line because I did. Oh, uh, oh, we got an um, Brava Aviator Sprint Turbo <laughs> Aero Festive. <laughs> oh, hold on. The flea, the flea. Yes, I like the flea. OK, so we've got the flea. Oh, that's cool. Um, I like this research menu. This is really neat. All right, hold on. Let's get another one going. Uh, research change. We're going to go with a, um, that we probably should research that one because I bet you that one's a good price tag. Um, but I wanted to look, does this say it does allows you to connect assembly stations with conveyors to create assembly lines, basic station objects, unlock basic objects used for upgrading assembly station. Unlocks storage shelves, which allow to store more parts in a smaller area. Unlocks higher limits for energy. Unlocks car dismantling. Okay, see, I'm curious where it's like the automation comes together. You know what I mean? Like where the robots and oh, right here, basic robot arm unlocks robots, which can work faster than mechanics at the cost of quality. Oh, unlocks basic objects used for upgrading assembly stations. Basic toolbox. See, that sounds good. Um, but we need to make more money. Let's see. What is this? Scrapping deals. Advertising one. Uh, flyers. What's this? Base popularity growth rate increases the popularity growth rate. Base popularity plus 10%. And then, oh, oh, the small sales couch. Mm. What is this? Allows you to build more research stations. Um, I think we're okay right now on research. We're already ahead of where I was. 
I kind of feel like this, I feel like the, maybe this would be worth getting. Um, but I'm thinking maybe we should move these around a little bit and I want to see, oh, you know what? If I move this though, I kind of want to see how this works. All right. You know what? Let's see if there's a benefit to this. So if I go into here and I go into here, oh, I can't move it. Okay. we're gonna have to wait. Once these two cars get built, we're going to move these and we're going to put these into a line, a production line. Um, I'm thinking we get rid of the bug. Oh, but the bug is popular. Look at it. I mean, it's popularity. Is it, is it, hit an all time high? Like it is, it is a hot commodity. That bug is a, is a needed vehicle for, for the, the, the one to two persons, you know? <laughs> All right. So these two are going to be rolling off here. And actually I have an idea. Um, and I'm going to, we're going to implement it and we're going to see how well this works. Okay. So we're going to stop that. Um, actually, you know what? Let's pause that production. Pause that production. Let these guys come out of here. So I have a theory about the work that's being done. So the mechanics can only grab one part of a vehicle at a time. Whereas the transport people, they're grabbing boxes. So I think they can grab more parts per time to the storage. Then these, I said, pro, I said to pause this, <laughs> hold on, let's go in here. Well, anyways, I'm going to show you what I'm going to show you exactly what I was talking about. So we're going to go ahead and delete that. We're going to, um, conveyor link. Let's see. Control delete. No control delete that. And then we're going to do this right there. And then the reason that we're going to do that like that is because I believe the storage can actually go back here. Why is there not enough space right there? I believe the storage can actually go back here. And because these guys can walk a little bit further, but then the mechanics go literally go from here to here. You know what I mean? The, the trip would be a lot shorter for them. And basically we could continue that all the way down here. So um, we're going to go and get rid of that because we don't need that there. And then I want to go ahead and move. Oh, darn it. I just destroyed that. That was a mistake. So I want to put two racks behind each station. Now, are they actually going to put the, the intended resource on each of these? Probably not. You know what? Anyway, it doesn't even matter. All right, we're going to do that. And then that'll also allow me to get rid of this. Um, no. Okay, wait. What does the storage area have in it? Yeah, destroy. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, darn it. That was probably... Okay, well, that was probably a bad idea. <laughs> that was probably a terrible idea. All right, we're going to move the door. And then we're going to grab a building and we're going to grab another door. Can I put a door on this side? I can put a door on the side. Perfect. And then I want to go ahead and grab another door here. Mm -hmm. You see where we're going here. And then we can have a whole nother line right there. So that is what I want to do. And then we should be able to. Why can't I place that right there? I don't understand why I can't place that there, but whatever it is, what it is. So that is what we're going to do with these. So, um, let's go into production, making that, making that, making that. We're going to go ahead and start these up again. Oh, it's a whole line. Okay. And then that's going, and then we need to go ahead and, um, click again to confirm, click again to confirm. Okay. So. Oh, is it only treating it as one line now? Station one, station two. Oh, assign employees to this line? Huh. How does this work? Because this, I don't understand what, okay, so there's two of these, but there's only, it almost actually there's only one. Hmm. All right, let's see, let's just see what happens here. Do they start building on both of them? I'm a little, I'm a little confused here. Let's, let's speed this up and see what happens. I am not sure what is going on here. Drag station to change job categories. Oh, 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 I'm an idiot. Oh my gosh. I'm an idiot. Okay. So station one can do half of it and the other station can do it. So like, oh my gosh. 
So station one, they can start this stuff. Once they're done with this stuff, it can move to the next place, and then, then this can be done here. Oh my gosh, okay. So let's do that. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I love it, I love it. Learning curve, I know, I'm sorry, but it is what it is. Um, we also need another car, okay. The Escala. <laughs> oh, that's from there. Uh, wait, was that the... That wasn't our tier three, was it? No. Yes, it was. It changed the vehicle. All right, we're gonna go with that one. Ooh, that looks fancy too. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay. We need to be careful with our money though. <laughs> our money is the issue. Oh, that is so cool. That's how we increase the production is by having it split. Okay, so we have we have designated people in each one. Uh, you know what, should I just have four, two and two? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see this work now. And then let's see, oh, we need to add an order. Place order because this, okay. So now there's an order for that one area specifically order for that area order. For, okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. This is cool. This is neat. I really like what we're getting in here. So the idea is to have this one go here and this guy finish about the same time this guy's done. That's the goal. Okay. So that one just moved up. So what we want. There should be another one coming in here now. Another chassis. Maybe. Yep. Okay, so they're working on that. And we want this one to be about ready to move forward around this time go as as soon as this one's like done as well. That would be ideal. Okay, so this one already moved forward and this one did not. So this one could have another step or two. Yeah, this one could have like another step. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how many more steps we could have on this one. Because this one just sitting here like that, that's just wasting time when somebody could be working on it. All right, let's move it down to... Let's do fenders and bumpers. Oh, my gosh. It restarts the car completely? Oh, my gosh. And then, you know what? I probably have to do another order. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is cool though. This is cool. It kind of it kind of seems like you have to do like a whole nother order. I kind of wish I, I, I should have just let that other car come out first and then we could have at least got a car's worth of stuff sold. But I guess it is what it is. So that's cool. That's how the production line works. I was wondering because at first I was thinking that this each one of these pads is built in a complete car, uh, like a whole car. But now it makes sense. You divide it up and you have more of these. Make, mm -hmm. I like it. Oh, did we already finish another car? Oh my gosh. The Stratus. I like it. Okay, we're getting to the point, like I have so many cars to choose from now. Um, I feel like, I feel like I'm, am I like super behind here? I feel like the, um, this, this whole two assembly line thing is not gonna be big enough though. Like we're gonna have to expand and have them like go long ways. Well, I mean, I guess we go ahead and go get a whole nother car going. Um, oh, you know what though? We don't really have the capital to be having additional parts coming in yet, so I think we need to let this one run for a little bit, and then we might as we gotta keep we gotta, we gotta keep the um, the research going. <laughs> I mean, I think we're paying these guys to work anyway, so we might as well keep the research going. Uh, I'd like to build another line here and get another car going. What car would we even get going though? Uh, let's see. We've got. We could do this one, or we could do a sports car. That could be fun. Family, sport. Yeah, if we did a sport, that would be kind of cool. All right, we're struggling right now. <laughs> we have $800, and I'm not quite sure what's going on. Let's see here. So profit, total costs, total profit. It looks like the dark purple? What is the dark purple? Is that the parts? It looks like our parts is what's costing us so much. And then employees. Employees, I don't think is that bad. But our parts, how are the parts costing us so much comparatively to the vehicle? Because if I go to here and we go to money, we have a 90% profit on this. Is that not enough profit? 
I mean, I guess if it takes 560 parts to come in, maybe I need to increase the, the cost of this a little bit. Let's just go from 90 to 100%. And let's go from 90 to 100% on this one as well. That's just a little bit. It's not It's not a lot. Um, well, I mean, percentage-wise, I guess it could, it could be, but hmm. And then... Is there any up? Is there any research to give us uh, cheaper parts? I don't know. Maybe I need to. Maybe I need to be raising the prices of our cars and making them more expensive so they sit here a little bit longer. I don't know. We're gonna have to. We're just gonna have to wait and see. Like, like I said, I mean, we were doing good, but then I don't know what happened. It just seems like the parts prices got. It's so weird though, because like, our parts are supposed to be double the like our, our our sales are supposed to be double the income total cars tools parts loans we don't have a loan we have employees but i mean the employees really hasn't changed and we have like nothing on tools ads and tech but parts i don't know why parts this bar should be double this bar no, because it, no, it should be, because we're. Hold on a second. Am I am I not am I am I reading this incorrect? No, cost of parts is 162. If we charge 100 percent more, that gives us another 162. So, if this is 100 percent, this bar should be double the length of this bar. You know what I mean? Like this. Now it could be, it could be because of all the stuff that I did here with the. Um, like scrapping the cars and stuff like that. So maybe I need to leave these alone. Maybe that was, maybe that took more of a hit than I thought it did. I don't know. This is going to be interesting to see though. Oh, we got a new, uh, we got a new car. Uh, let's see. What do we want? The Accord Slugger. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Um, man, I almost feel like we should get rid of some researchers. We are still like just barely like we're, we're skimming by right now. And I just, I mean, I, we haven't sold any cars yet, but still, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We might, we might be, we might be going bankrupt here. <laughs> this is not good. So I keep getting something saying this model is of bad quality. And I don't know why. I'm going to guess maybe that has to do with the price increase. So let's go, let's go back down to, let's go back down to 90%. On both of these, because I'd rather be selling them than not selling them. So let's do that, and let's see if we can... I, if I don't purchase anything and don't do anything over here, I'm hoping that we can get a little bit of uh, a little bit of money back in our account. Okay, we're going to go into the employees now. <laughs> we're going into them. We're cutting employees. Um, so, researchers, I don't need... We're going to dismiss you. And let's see... Does this say how long they've worked here? Well, you're more expensive. We're gonna dismiss you. Sorry, uh, but uh, you know what? We've researched so many cars already. Like, I don't need any more cars being researched, really. And then salesmen, we don't need that many salesmen either. Um, sorry, Timothy Hayes, you're more expensive. So we're gonna go back down to one salesman because I think I could better put those positions towards either bringing uh, things in or making cars because that's what we need. We need more money. So let's get rid of those guys. Sorry, it is what it is. <laughs> oh, wait a second. I, those are for the hire. They're not the employees. <laughs> Darn it. Oh my gosh. What am I even doing? Um, okay, let's see. Raymond Haynes, Bob Johnson. Who did we hire first? I can't even remember. They're all they're all good. Wait, actually, if we click on them, I think it'll say who's been here the longest. Uh, six months, ten months. Okay, so Bob Johnson. We'll keep Bob Johnson. Oh man, I thought I, I was like I was like that's weird. I didn't even see anything. I don't, like they're still standing there. Layoff. Sorry. Terminate his employment. Okay, and then research. Uh, who's been here the longest? Where's our other research dude at? 
Okay, Frank can stay. All right, there we go. Sorry, guys. It is what it is. Wait, did, did they not go? Leaving. Oh, leaving the factory and research. Okay, cool. All right. They're gone. They're gone. So that'll, that'll save me a little bit of money. Oh, man. I feel terrible. We're cutting costs by cutting the employees. Uh, we just we just reduced. Uh, we didn't need them. We got too far ahead. And we're like, you know what? Hey, your job here is just no longer secure. Sorry. I wonder, is there anything for, like, transporting parts? Uh, like, getting parts here. Unlock storage shells, which allow for to store more parts in a smaller area. Well, I mean, I guess there's there are three guys. That are, there's a few guys that are idle, so, I mean, I guess they're not always transporting stuff, but I also feel like if they're not always transporting stuff, like, what are you guys doing? Uh, hmm, I don't know. Oh, we're starting to get into money now. You know what? I think it's time to expand. Let's do it. Let's do an expansion here. Let's pause the game. Let's do the building. Let's get our brick building. We're going to go ahead and expand this out just a skosh like that. And then we're going to go ahead and get another gate in here. And then we're going to grab one of these. Okay. And then we're going to figure out what we're doing here. So let's go ahead and let's get what vehicle do we want to do? I feel like we should do a sports. I feel like we should do a sport car. I feel like we should do this one. Let's select that one. And then let's go ahead and select, let's see. Let's go for Let's see the first part typically gets done faster. Let's go about right there. Um, and then we need... Oh, we're going to need some employees to work this. Do I take employees off of here? We'll do that. We'll put two from there to here. And that might give the transport guys a little bit more time to get kind of get caught up. And then let's go ahead and create order. Create order. That's going to probably be expensive. So now that's all good. And then we need to do the same thing over here. Now, lucky for us, we don't have to um, have another person. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, no, we do not. So let's see. Let's go into the sales, the sales floor. Oh, limit reached. Okay, well, shoot. We can only sell two cars at a time. Hold on. I feel like there might be an answer for that. Um, is there a way to increase our... Unlocks sales zone objects, which allows clients to wait their turn. Oh. Um, oh, this is probably... Hmm. I thought there was something that allowed us to increase that. You know what? I actually feel like I'm a little behind here because promotional objects unlock sales zone objects, which increase the chance of a successful sale. We have to unlock waiting room, but we also have to match the brand's popularity, which we're at 248, and they said we had to be 100. It's so like the requirement for for this was 100? <laughs> like, uh-oh. Am I that far behind? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. I can't imagine. I mean, maybe. Um, this will unlock sales, which allows clients to wait their turn. The problem, well, I mean, you know what, though? Well, if we increase prices, see, the problem is we're not having an issue with that. We're having an issue keeping up with production. There's, we're selling them as fast as we can make them. So if I can only have two stations, I can't find anything about getting another station. So if I can only have two stations, there's only there's there's no need to have three different vehicles being made. So there's really only a, one to have to have two lines going right now. Um, unless there's unless there's something and I could be very I very well could be missing it, but I can't find anything for that. So maybe I need to get rid maybe we need to get rid of old buggy. Maybe old buggy's time to retire and we're uh, we're ready to go ahead and you know step it up. So I say I guess let's go ahead and do that. Uh, but we need to let's see order number one. We'll finish this one, but we're gonna can't we're gonna get rid of that. 
And then... Interesting. So now I actually want to switch these the other way. Because now we can have like a whole bunch of different slots and stuff like that. Uh, hopefully we have enough for this. It should. We should. It just it should just cancel the order for future ones. And then this one is going to come in here. And then once that one's done, we'll swap this out with that. And I guess goodbye buggy. All right. The Delta is on the showroom floor. Look at that thing. Look at all. It's beautiful. Absolute beautiful glory. We got a luxury car and a sports car. Completely changed brands. We used to be affordable to everybody. <laughs> now we're not affordable to anybody. Uh, all right. So these are going. We got uh, our first Delta in production. And it's weird that we can't only do two cars. I was really hoping that we could do like more than two, but you know, I guess it is what it is for now. Maybe there is something and I'm just, I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not reading it. You know what I mean? Oh, look at this. We actually have steam powered energy generator, steam engine driven by driven energy generator energy. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, there's a, like a repair. Oh, this is pretty cool. There's a whole bunch of buildings and stuff like that that we can get into, like uh, making our own parts and stuff too. So I'm really excited to see where this goes. Oh, our first Delta is complete. Oh, look at that in all its glory. Oh, it's so fancy. <laughs> awesome. But that is going to end this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, I, you know, I thought we were going to get further. And I thought we were going to do more than, than, than what we did. But I was a little bit worried with our money dip there. But it seems like we should be okay. Um, it looks like maybe we just need to keep advancing forward and getting the, trying to get the more expensive cars going. This thing right here is going to be a beaut when she's done. But, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Again, this is Car uh, Manufacturer. And uh, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.